Hi everybody, my name is Marilyn Dolorosa. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Today is gonna be a get ready with me video using some new products that I recently purchased from local drugstore. And this is the look that I did. And if you wanna see how I did this look using some product from a local drugstore, please keep watching. So let's start with foundation, which is the infallible total cover. It looks like Ooh. it's a little harder. I hope it's my shade. It's a little creamy textures. Shade is obviously not my shade, but. Let's make it work. It says high coverage, but hmm. Let's add a little bit more. Let's see. I really have a really dry skin, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, it's very dry. Okay, now our foundation is done. Let's move on to the concealer. So I got the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I heard amazing things about it, and um, a lot of YouTubers that I watch really recommend this. So let's give it a try. <laughs> definitely cover some of my pimples okay so let's move on so I got this um, gosh mineral powder from drugstore as well okay so let's see Ooh. Weird. This is how it looks inside. See that? And then I think open it. Oh, take it this way. Bronzer first. Put some color. <laughs> this L'Oreal Paris um, Brow Style Definer in dark brilliant. For my lashes, I don't know if you can you guys see that, I used the Maybelline New York Lash Sensation <laughs> Lash Sensational <laughs> Lashes full fun effects I just put my blush on for my lips I'm gonna use the infail <laughs> the infailable paints from L'Oreal in the shade of 322 and it's the orange envy I don't think I wear this kind of color before. I think it's a little too bright for me, so I'm gonna change. So, um, for now, we're just gonna use the my favorite lipstick from L'Oreal Paris as well in shade um, in shade 560 Suave Mauve. Hi everybody, I'm just here to check in and show you guys how the foundation is doing. So I just did some errands, went for dinner, and so it's about almost six hours now that I have this foundation. And 
honestly, I don't think this foundation is good for somebody who has dry skin. So I really have, I really, really have a dry skin and I don't think if you guys can see, but I don't usually have this when I wear a foundation. I'll check in with you guys um, in a little bit before I go to bed, but maybe tomorrow I'll try I'll try it without using the the loosened powder. But so far, yeah, it doesn't really looks good because I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's very dry. So hi guys, I'm just about to go to bed. I took off all my jewelry, put my, my hair on ponytail, but I'm just here to check in with you guys and to give you guys an update. So I've been wearing the foundation for about um, 10 hours now. And honestly, if you are farther from me, it looks still good um, but if you get a little closer like I mentioned before I have a very dry skin I look like I have blotches and it's kind of darker in this area so like what I said I'm gonna do another one tomorrow I'm gonna wear the same foundation tomorrow using another powder and we'll see if that's gonna make a difference and we'll let you guys know Hi everybody so I am back so I'm just here to share you guys my final thoughts about the L'Oreal 24 hours infallible uh, total cover so it's like what I said before this is the second day that I trying this product so uh, the only difference I did from yesterday was I, I didn't wear any loose powder foundation and it, as you can see, it's a little better and I actually uh, wear two coat of this but it doesn't really do the full coverage like what it mentioned in the product and what they're claiming. So I'm going to share with you my uh, pros and cons of using this product. Two pros is the price. It's not as expensive. It's retail about $18 in Canadian. And uh, the second one is it's very light for me. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing something. It's very light. So that's the two good thing about this product. The con is the consistency of the product. I like using more liquidy foundation. This has a creamy texture on it and it's very hard to squish to get products. And the second one is if you have a dry skin like myself, I won't recommend it. I never had this problem before, especially here. Yesterday, it's all over here. And today it shows here more. If you have a dry skin, I won't recommend it. Maybe if you're only like using it for a daily basis, also don't expect to have a full coverage. So if you're just doing errands, it's okay. But yeah, if you're going for a party or something like that where you need a full coverage on, this is not a good product for you. Yeah, so that is my thoughts about this product. If you guys tried it before, please share what your thoughts and your experience. And if you have a dry skin and you did something, maybe having a good primer, I'm not sure. But if you have a dry skin and you've tried it before and you have a good result, please um, share uh, your experience down below because I don't want to have this to go to waste. So if you have any tips on um, how I can use this better, then please go share. And that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.